Lee Zach, what do you got? Well, Matt, you hate to go into the game thinking that you're going to have to get the bullpen involved, but you may have to with this guy on the mound. He's not known for going very deep in the games. Very rarely does he go six innings or more, so this very well could be one of those Johnny Holstaff days. Ready now is Bo Jackson, Bo. and we are ready for some Jackson. daytime baseball. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for bowl one. Fellas, these twins as they take the field this afternoon, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, man, nothing they'd like to do more than to salvage this one, D-Roll. After this one, they go on the road for a seven-game road trip, so big to get this win here today. Yeah, last game in front of the home folks before you go out for a week. This is a big one. They're going to get it done. 2-0 count, the pitch. Outside, 3 and 0 now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 3 0. Finally got one over. Nothing worse than starting the game with a four pitch walk. The three and one pitch. Hey, hey it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Three two pitch. And that ball misses ball four. So a good battle to begin the ball game today, but the leadoff man will reach first anyway. Well, the reason power hitters generally exactly. draw more walks than other the guys is exactly what we Eddie. saw right there. Pitchers well, work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Now into the box, Eddie Rosario. Nine at bats in the series and four base hits. First things first, here's a throw over, and the runner back easily. Ready to deal, here comes the first pitch. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. Good speed at first and good speed with a guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. Jackson gets his lead at first nobody out throw over to the bag runners back the 0 1 pitch in there and he's ahead 0 2 now a time to look at our umpires in this one behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Yeah, Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the game, I think. Consistent, well-respected, accurate strike zone. Uh, Debro, you hit it right there. He makes you bring the ball over the plate. We'll give a little bit off the strike zone. I think the one thing that's important that he does, he has the same strike zone in the first inning. You'll see that. And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. Certainly a very close play at second on that bag. So let's analyze it with show track. We all know he's got plus speed on his side, and you really see it represented in the top speed. That really made the difference on that one. The one two is a fastball that misses. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. No one out with a runner at second. Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Fool him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around that according to the umpire. The Sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down and that appeared to be the case there. Here's the first pitch. Salvador Perez stands in as he looks at ball one here. His past history with Dylan Bundy, he's just two for nine. He's taken him deep once. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike.
Runner at second here with one man out. A ball and two strikes to the Royals catcher. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty death. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Wow, that's the case that's right it. there where pitcher knows it's this like guy's it. up there and he's in it's swing it. mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he still swung at it. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. by the first baseman to spear this one and that'll retire the side one left for Kansas City it's the Royals nothing twins coming to bat this is Major League Baseball on the show Julian Fernandez a right handed native of the Dominican Republic will be the starter what do we need to know here Danny it's not an easy thing to do to pitch as a rookie but one of the things you have to do is use the positives the opposing team has never faced you you can't be afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone establish your pitches and try to work quickly here's Byron Buxton now they lead things off here in the bottom half of the first the center fielder Byron Buxton and now pitch on the way these Kansas City Royals entering play this afternoon guys they came up a little short last time out but they've still been one of the hotter teams around winning eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah Maddie taking a look at the standings right here this team has a nice lead comfortable you always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games got the advantage you don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings and this team this team's sitting pretty right now. One and two now. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this that series. Is this is a really good hitter. And it's not easy Louis. to make a guy strike out five oh, times oh, in a yeah. series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. That'll bring up Luis Arise as he'll take a look at ball one. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. The 1 0 is in there for strike one. Fernandez has over 40 innings on his line so far and sports a respectable ERA just under 3.50. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. And there's out number two. Batting third. A chance now from Target Field to take a look at the Twins lineup in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, I'm definitely interested in seeing Luis arise today. I mean, this guy is a career 300 hitter. You talk about consistent. He delivers a good at bat clutch hits basically every time he walks into the box. I love watching this guy. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa as he'll lift it up in the air. This is back behind second. Rosario is there and the side is retired. Down go the twins in order. We are still scoreless. New inning set to get underway, and up next, the big RBI minded bat of Ioannis Cespedes. First delivery to him. And 
into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. The 1 1. Is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Hit out towards second. On to first, and there's one gun here to start the second. That is it. The third okay, here's how the Twins are lining up defensively. And let's take a look at Carlos Correa. I had an old friend say to me one time, this is what they look like, and this is exactly what it looks like. The ability to play gold glove defense and hit in the middle of the order, I smell a potential Hall of Fame career. The batter will be Gavin Lux. High in the air out to center field. Buxton is there, two gone. Batting seven, the left fielder, number seven, Bobby Witt Jr. That will bring in Bobby Witt Jr. He drove in two of their three runs in that ball game yesterday. First pitch on the way as he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. Hit hard to short. And the Royals are going to have their first hit of the ball game. So the base hit here nets him a base runner with two away as we check out the league leaders in team batting average here in May. And we see that these guys are currently second in the AL in that department. In now, Adalberto Mondesi. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Witt, the runner at first with two gone. Not where you want the changeup, but he gets away with it for a strike. When you're hitting at the bottom of the order, you better be keyhole in the middle of the plate. You cannot allow pitches like that to go by. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Runners going. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Two-two pitch is fouled away. Three and two to the Royals designated hitter. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open it's not the end of the world if you do you still need to make a quality pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. Royals leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Stepping up is Miguel Sano. We we'll take a look at the splits between the April and May. Miguel. No. Now the first pitch. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Oh 
behind 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, the hey, they can do man. something with that. Number but 30. most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Comes into his first at bat at 283. Six home runs and 22 RBIs. Now the 1 0 is a fastball taken high for a ball. One out, nobody on. And there's the first strike, two and one. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Now a rocket deep down the line in left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. The throw into second. You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching him all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. So here's Jake Cave to the plate. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. He's set. Here's the 0-1. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Beautiful backdoor slider for the punch out right that there, guys. Up. When it's tight right like field. this one was, it back. looks like a fastball off Get the plate that darts back at the corner at the last second. Locked him up completely with that one. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat and he'll quickly send a line drive to center field Jackson gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning one left for Minnesota will move to the third with no score and now Nicky Lopez and he's hoping to get things going at the plate it's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. First pitch on its way. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Two and one. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the American League's Central Division as you see where these two teams find themselves entering our ballgame here today. Royals batting order turns over and set to go. Bo Jackson hitting 500 in the series so far. Four for eight. 
low for ball one. Third inning, no score to this point. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. A two and one count to the leadoff hitter for Kansas City. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, there's another base knock right there. Hitting streak now up the to eight games. Yeah, it's no doubt about it. Well, eight games. Yeah. Now, I mean, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that week, you just know you're locked in. They start talking eight games. Now you're like, all right, I got a nice little hitting streak going. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's bowl one. Jackson stands at first with one out. Oh, two and oh. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably there's a fastball coming. And there he goes towards second. That's a strike to throw down. Is there to ring him up? The caught stealing for Sanchez. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a back, but he got rid of it quickly, and it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. Bases are empty here with two men out. All even now, two and two. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three, and we are tied nothing nothing. Welcome back as the Twins look to get their bats going in the third inning, and you can say they've really been trying to do that pretty much all year. One coach told me before the game, there are certainly plenty of areas for us to improve offensively, but first and foremost, we need to start by putting the ball in play more often. There's too much swing and miss in our game. And the stats do back that up as they currently rank near the bottom of the league in strikeouts. So that appears to be an area of emphasis going forward, guys. Thank you, Heidi. Leading off for the and now three. here is Alex no Kirillov. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. No balls in one strike. Here comes the 0-1. And it's 1-1. One and one. Here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. When the pitcher on the mound's established in this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Popped up. Perez shading to his right. He's got it one away. Batting ninth, the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Next to hit, Gary Sanchez. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. First pitch on its way. Nope. All one, no strike. The 1-0 is looked at for ball number two. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Yeah. 
And that's finally over for a strike. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Aye. Called strike two, and now it's full Aye. three and two. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Three two pitch. Hit sharply on the ground, and that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front the shoulder field. in, Number kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. Duck and if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That went right up the middle. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 0 1 on its way. On the ground is short. This could be two. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Nothing doing here for the Twins. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. All set for the start of the inning, and next will be the imposing power bat, Salvador Perez. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through 4, 5, and 6 right here. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Count is 1 and 2 now. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2 and 2. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. In there, a base hit. Boy, there's a long drive bullet the off batter. the wall right there. The but right the outfielder field. does a really Andrew. good job, D Row, of that getting that one quickly and getting it back in to keep him at first for a long single. Yeah, and also a nice job by the base runner not there. Not putting his head down, being over aggressive and getting thrown out at second base. He saw the play happening in front of him and put the brakes on and got back for a base hit. Yeah, D Row, I think he would have been toast if he tried to stretch that one into a double. 0 oh, and 1 the count. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Pitch in the dirt, and that gets away. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. From the stretch, swing and a liner. And that's in there, base hit. Hey, two runners on after back to back singles right now there. Batter. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. So here's Joanna Cespedes as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. On the ground to the right side. To second for one. On to first to complete the double play. 
Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Standing in now, Gavin Lux. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Hey. A ball and a strike. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. The 1-1. One, one. Well, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Hey, what a job right here to put yourself in position to get out of this one after giving up back-to-back -back singles to the first two batters. The 2 2. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. One left for Kansas City. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Bottom of the inning now, and next to him will be Luis Arise. Here you go. For the twin. The second baseman, Luis. Oh, yeah. First pitch on the way as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and all. Here it comes. Nope, that's the ball. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches, and when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Two and one the count. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Now the two one. There's a slider oh, that can't God. catch the outside. Well that sets up a big pitch right here Matt because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. And he takes a cold strike at the knees and that'll run things full. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball one gone. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old fashioned no hardball right now. One. Just rearing just back stop. and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Here's Carlos Correa now. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the 1-0. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the run is Benintendi. He gets there, and that's the second out. The first baseman, number 22, Miguel. Done. Here's Miguel Sano looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see. If he tries to cheat to something, this A.B. One ball, no strikes to count. Two balls and no strikes to Miguel Sano. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Three and oh now. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's three and oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. 
No runs, two hits, and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Well, they were obviously pitching around him there, and I don't blame them. With the bases empty and two outs and a hitter of this caliber at the plate, make somebody else beat you. So now here is Gio Urshela. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. Ball one to start the at bat. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. I got a ball, one strike. This is line to left. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Twins wind up stranding one through four. Still tied, nothing, nothing. Welcome back to Target Field as we send it to Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, Royals manager Mike Matheny talked with me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And one thing he stressed to me was the need for them to have better at-bats when they've got runners on base. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with a big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find a way to break through sooner or later. All right, thanks, Heidi. Bobby Witt Jr. Now here's the first offering. Bobby Witt Jr. is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball that's 1 0. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. A bouncer up the middle. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. With that, the Royals have their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Into the box now, Adalberto Mondesi batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Here comes the 0-1. Fastball oh, just misses. That's ball one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. No yeah, offer on that one. Two strike. balls and a strike. Witt aboard here at first with nobody out. And that one yanked just foul. Here now the 2 2. Hit softly down the line at first. The second for one. Uh, he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Well, when you get a ground ball in a double play situation, you always want to turn it. But that was a tough hit to do it on. You don't want to rush and make a mistake and get no out. So that was a good job to at least get the runner going into second. Set and the pitch. And a pitch out. Nothing doing though, and that's ball one. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Swing and a liner. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. 
the center fielder, number 16, Bo Jackson. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Bo Jackson singled in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Oh, and a layoff fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. Hoping to discourage a steal attempt with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Two out with the man at first. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. From the stretch. And a good oh, at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. He did not want to the let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Next up is Eddie Rosario. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. On its way is pitch number 75. That's lifted the other way out to left. Kirilov will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Royal strand a pair. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs. But he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. For the Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The Hitter. First Jake. pitch coming. Here it is. Jake. Jake Cave is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Left side, but well fouled. Wind up and the 0 2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Jackson is right there, one down. Now batting, right fielder, Matt Kepler. Next up, Max Kepler. First offering on its way. The 1 0. Nope. Two balls, no play. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Witt is there and he makes the catch for the out. Now batter, the left fielder, Alex Kirilov. That brings up Alex Kirilov. Here's the first pitch to him. Now the 1 0. Misses above the zone for a ball. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2 0 count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. The pitch. Too high, and it's 3 and 0. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. 3 0 pitch. 
finds the zone strike one. Stealing that strike on 3 0 was important but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. Two out nobody on. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Slap hard the opposite way. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So that two out success means Gary Sanchez will get to hit here. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. Runner at first with two gone. And the next to bat, the Dominican born catcher, Gary Sanchez. the stretch the 1 0 oh. oh. this is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that you can't just lay one in there but you also don't want to run the count to 3 and 0 oh. 2 0 count the pitch Kirillov is off of first with two away. That's going to even up the count at two and two. I'll try to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. He's set. Here's the three and two. Ani pops it up. Cespedes into foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, he made quick work of the, the first two guys this half inning, getting two quick outs, but then he gives up a base hit Buck's and now dead. the walk. We'll see if he has it in him to draw the line in the sand and get out of this. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup, stepping in Byron Buxton. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. One and oh, the count. A ball and no strikes. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Now a look and a throw back to second. And he'll dive back in safely. The set and the 2 0. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Two down, runners at first and second. The count now at two and two. Two and two, here it is. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And this will get over the wall, in fact, so just the one run will be allowed to score. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Stepping in now, Luis Arias. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. And the second run will score as well. 
Dan, from a pitcher standpoint, that's a backbreaker. Two out, two RBI base hit right You're there. Tough. Awfully frustrating. Oh. You're trying to make some good pitches. Oh, you get two right outs, and all of a sudden, you give up that big base hit that drives into frustrating for a pitcher. So now to the plate, Carlos Correa, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. And he lays off for ball one. Now for four innings, he was great. But here in the fifth, he looks like a completely different guy out there. That happens a lot when a pitcher is facing batters for the second or third time in a game. Hits are even right now at five aside. And there's oh, ball two now. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Now the 2 1 pitch. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. We're through five here at the ballpark. Minnesota leads this one three to nothing. Here's the catcher Salvador Perez. He's set Salvador to lead us off in the sixth the inning. Catcher, number 13, Salvador Perez. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Now some action out in the Minnesota pen as it looks like both a lefty and a right hander are up to throw. The 1 0. On he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Racing back the center fielder and off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Eighth home run on the season for him. And the Royals are on the board. It's now a three to one ball game. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Now here comes the Twins manager on his way to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to do it for Dylan Bundy. So the good news is he'll wind up going the requisite five innings for the victory, but he does leave his bullpen some considerable work to do before this one's done. Now that the right field. Starlin Castro will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. They come into play at 317. One home run and seven driven in. The 1 0 is taken, strike one. Swing and a line drive. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well, that's not a bad pitch right there. That's a pretty good sinker. He just happens to hook that the one right into left field for a base hit. Yeah, he got the bat head out right there, Dan, and was able to get that one to left field. Here's your one Cespedes. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner, it's ball one. No hits to this point. Mm -hmm. 
Now the 1-0. Out in front here is this one scorched. Foul to the left. One run, seven hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Swing and a ground ball to third. One there. On to first, and Cespedes grounds into a double play. It's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's yeah, below man. the zone. And if you do do anything with it, most of the time, this will be the result a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. At the plate now, Gavin Lux, as he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Right side, but it's well foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot, throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. That misses and we're even at two and two. Lifted in the air to center. Buxton will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Royals get one on this swing by Perez. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's the Twins three, and the Royals one. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Miguel Sano. Pitch on the way. Lifted down the line and left. And it's a foul ball. Popped him up. Lux in foul ground. One out. So with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the American League's Central Division as you see where these two teams find themselves entering our ballgame here today. So the next to bat will be Gio Urshela. He's working on a one for two game so far. First pitch on the way. You have to understand as the hitter right here, pitcher on the mound wants a quick inning. Anything over the heart of the plate, probably got to pull the trigger on. <laughs> 